Republican-led Wisconsin legislature approves bills related to abortion. Governor Tony Evers already vetoed some of them in 2019. And the issue is playing out nationally with the U.S. Supreme Court this year weighing two abortion limits, laws from Mississippi and Texas. Jason Calvi tells us about the Wisconsin debate. Wisconsin again debates abortion. We're redebating them because Republicans want this as a talking point. One of the bills would require medical professionals rush a child surviving abortion to the hospital and provide the same care they'd provide to any child born alive at the same gestational age. If a child is born, we are going to provide health care to them. While exempting mothers, health professionals breaking the law would face a felony, fines up to $10,000 in jail for six years. For those who intentionally killed the born child, the person would face life in prison. And infanticide is already illegal. This bill doesn't, doesn't do anything in that regard. This bill is about yet one more, one more jab at abortion. In 2019, Governor Tony Evers vetoed the same bill, saying he objects to the political interference between patients and their health care providers. Further, this bill, he says, is redundant because the protections this bill seeks to provide already exist in state law. The Legislative Reference Bureau says current Wisconsin law defines whoever is born alive as a result of an abortion. It's considered to have the same legal status and legal rights as a human being at any point after the human being undergoes a live birth. There is nothing in law that clarifies that an abortion provider, minutes before, when they're attempting to take the life of that baby, don't have this um, explicit duty. The vote was nearly party line with two Republicans joining Democrats in opposition. So having already passed the state Senate, these bills now head to Governor Evers for his likely veto. In Madison, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. Another bill would ban someone from getting an abortion based on sex, race, or fetal disability. Democrats accuse Republicans of playing political games. Republicans say the bills should be bipartisan, and they want to give the governor another chance to sign them.